So, who wants to know a trick? For doing all this, I keep this nearly old roller tape, right? Because you can keep this fairly short and just manage to get it through there without cutting strips of tape off. And then you use your new roller tape to cover the outside. Anyhow, that's just what I do. The hornet's nest. This is where the left side, the trailer plug, and the right light, number plate light, and reverse light are all coming in. I'm just trying to do the shortest one is my reverse light, which is right back up here. If I want it to be neat and go around there like that. So I'm leaving that to last. So yeah, which I've used blue as because they use blue on the ute instead of black. So I've just got to leave. It's black at this end because it's for this light. But auxiliary light, because these are never good enough. They're not bad, but they're not great. Not when you got shit the back end out here. So, yeah, I got two of these. That side's done. I've ran that nice and neat across there. I haven't cut the zip ties yet. It's all nice and neatly tucked under there. I did stuff up. It's not perfectly got the same gap, but eh. Uh, and that one's up against the edge here. This one's better with the gap. Oh no, and it's not actually even better. Anyhow, they're on there. I actually could probably change it up by bending that one a bit more, but it's, I've actually got a bit more of a gap here. Anyhow, they're on there. They are going to do the job. See, so welcome to my nightmare. But, you know, it's easy to do it and have it not look neat. I want it to look neat, so that's I'm taking my time sort of as much time as you can take which is which is about the time it takes for the solder to cool down enough to wrap it <laughs> we did all right with this bird's nest and everything works so just everybody remind me that if I go tapping into this for reverse lights blues reverse not auxiliary power or anything and it goes into the black for the reverse because that's the way they've done it off of the original loom down there instead of using black they use blue which I don't care just you gotta know these things you know everything works I'll show you all later I'm just gonna try and make it all look tidy and I've got to tape that up there I think I've got some spare cover plastic sheathing type stuff so yeah Not perfect. The wiring's not nice and tidy, but the lights aren't perfect, perfect, but it is what it is. They're gonna work. <laughs> All right, scratchy crater. Okay, high beams, low beams. Parkers. Indicators on the front are working. Oh, look at that. They're all working on the back, too. Tomorrow, I will do the exhaust. I only just got square on the pit coming in. We just run the gauntlet, if you know what that means. Bit of a rattle in the aluminium tray, but that's pretty normal. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's take the uh, transfer box out of here. And we just threw it in reverse. And that's the reverse light. Pretty bright. Been thinking I maybe should angle that one out a bit more. Because they're both pointing back straight, so I just should pull them out on the angle a bit, but that'll do for now. All the wiring is neat and tidy. all tucked up in there nicely some homemade brackets for the lights and 
one noisy L18. Anyhow, knock this old girl out of gear. Turn her off. Oh yeah, this one's wired up like the diesel. Yeah, I turned it off here, go. Hey? I pulled this out. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, she's had a run. It's it's hot, but I don't think it's up to temperature. I think it needs a thermostat. It's still hot enough. I can't hold my hand on there. So unless the heaters are blocked with crap. So we're turning hot water that way, so they're open. Yeah, okay, here we go. Um, yeah, no powerhouse. Needs a fifth gear. It's going to need a clutch at some point. It feels okay at the moment, but it is getting close to the end of its life. So when that day comes, I think I'll throw a five-speed back in it. I've, I've got a five-speed, so... Yeah. Anyway, out for now. It's completed. I just wanted to see what it sounded like on camera. Pretty beefy. It's done. So that exhaust came off of that ute. And I've got a Ratley tray, which is normal. You should see one of these with a diesel in it, with a SD, whether it be a 22 or 23 or 25, they just rattle themselves to pieces. Well, not literally, but it's noticeable. This only rattles because I've got it idling pretty slow. Oh, let's have a look at my exhaust. I've got all my legs out of my mount, camera mount. Uh, so I've fabric cobbled another bracket there. We'd had one, but I couldn't make it work. Because believe it or not, the four-wheel drive and the two-wheel drive exhaust is different. So I've mounted it up on an angle. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, you can see in there. All out nice. Might be better off to see from the back. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nicely positioned. It goes up with the chassis. It's all up nice and high. It's actually welded nicely. It looks a bit crappy because I had a couple of legs I was trying to pinpoint, so I was trying to zap them and I couldn't see, couldn't get to it. I think I think she's going to burn oil. There's also moisture in this exhaust that's been outside, so... Yeah. It's done, Hugo. Done. Yeah, done. It's finished. Oh, Hugo just dumped me in for another one. So, yeah, 84. That's in 720. L18, so 1.8. Four speed. That's an FS4. Um, I've got an FS5 W something that will fit. I'm surprised the spotlights actually work really well. The headlights are, you know, as good as these Datsuns ever were. They're actually not too bad, but um, because all the reflectors are nice and clean still. But the spotlights, I thought, oh yeah, they won't be real flash they're actually pretty good we, we ran it up to the farm and from old man's house it looks out to the neighbor's fence line so oh, it's halfway across the paddock well whole way across that little paddock so it's pretty good four-wheel drive works goes in and out of gear when you want it I, that's the only thing left to do is that filter and i just replace those two fuel lines whilst i do it um, everything's finished trailer plug even works I tried that out so yeah 
Oh, UHF. Take that dicky aerial off. Oh, and I've got to paint the roof. You can see the roof's a bit shitty. So we're going to paint the roof and this aerial mount here. I've got an AM radio in there. I'm not going to worry about anything else. But um, it's loud enough, I think it'll keep me awake on the way to work. So there's another spot. So we're just going to paint it. We're not even going to really take the dents out. Um, just preserve it. And I'll pull this off at a later date. Maybe give this a lick of black paint. We might. If I use it enough, I'll rub all that rust off of the galv. But yeah, the tray's not in bad nick. I've got all the sides. These are all, all stiff, all frozen up in here. Got all them working. I'm surprised how it sounds, actually. It, it sounds beefy. It'd sound even better if it had twin side draft Webers on it instead of the factory carby. Well, yeah. <laughs> but being it's only four speed it's probably not going to get good economy anyway there is a leak under here somewhere I don't believe it's the flange I think I'll be pulling the manifolds off at some, at some point to do the manifold gasket either that or it's got a crack in it somewhere and if it's got a crack in it well then I'm going to have to find another one which I believe I've got I've still got some Genie headers somewhere that have been modified three or four times already I could put them on but anyway it's not terribly noisy we'll see I haven't even checked the points I opened it up and had a look I'm like oh yeah it's got points lovely uh, but I haven't even gapped them I have to replace one plug. Bit of a thingy in the dash. See it's not real flash, but should do for a little bit. All right, done. I'm not sure what's in that exhaust because there's definitely something in that exhaust because it did some funny things when I welded it, like caught on fire. You know, it came off of a diesel, so who knows. Maybe that it has been over fueling all this time and pouring. No, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know, but it smells revolting. So it needs a good run down the road. I've just done a little run around the block. And man, it's just belching out the smoke. I don't believe it's the engine. <laughs> I really don't believe Because I, I went down the road the other day ran it for a while and it wasn't smoking like this so that's something burning out the exhaust because it's just it's just putrid it's like three parts two stroke like it's just ugh. I guess it's the first time it's been hot ever because <coughs> the diesel unit was on it was only a dedicated farm here wouldn't have bloody done any sort of speed at all. Would have only idled around its whole life. And would have just clogged up with God knows what. So it might actually sound even better after it burns itself out. And it's starting to taper off. You can't see the smoke so much. Oh, you can't if you come around here. That is nuts. What's up? Hurry up. Do you want to go for a ride? Yeah. You know one thing that we can't do? We don't have a key that fits that. I have to go through my key set. Hey, that's something. Both sides. Like a modern vehicle. 